Okay. Um, we're calling the meeting uh, back to order. I, I will share basically what um, what I uh, conversed or what we conversed about. Because if you will, will recall earlier, I said I had talked to him earlier, and he always said that he would help us in any way in this town that he can. He would help. We know each other from North Carolina. So we, we're used to doing things right, and we're used to helping communities, you know, help each other. So he was letting me know that anything he could do to help the town move forward, he would be willing to serve on any board we put him on. So, But in talking to him right there, he still does not change from what he told me. He's willing to serve on any board, but now he does have a concern, which this is with all boards, that whoever he's sitting with, he, he wants everybody to, you know, remain, you know, legal-minded and fair-minded and, and, and to be willing to follow the law, like he as a person to follow the law, which, of course, we, we, we're getting people we know who will follow the law in all the boards. So we want to reserve the right that uh, if we go ahead and put him on the board, switch him from the planning commission, which I don't see any way that he would be disappointed with uh, with where he is, as long as, you know, we're all following the law. That's all of us following the law. I think that so, Mr. Davis is probably in a, in a unique position to respond to the fact that as, as council members and as board members in the town, none of us have the prerogative of choosing who sits really next to us. However, the law is on the side of procedures and laws for operation of that board, and that's always at your disposal if there's any problem that you encounter relative to anybody that you're serving with. You have, you have options right. before okay. this council and before the state law. We are a subdivision of the state of South Carolina. Mr. Davis, do you have anything that you would like to speak to about um, process or what, what options board members have if they find themselves in a position where they need to present um, ethical issues or misconduct issues or whatever about relative to fellow board members? With regards to ethics issues, again, the state ethics law is available, you know, for whatever report, you know, is appropriate under, you know, under the law. As to board procedures, that that's really a matter for the full board to address. Certain boards may Ultimately, if, if, if a certain action is so egregious, it may possibly lead to a removal, depending upon what board it is and, and that kind of thing. And so anybody who, who we put on a board, if they find themselves in a position where it, something they're violated and things are not right, they can also be, you know, resigned from that board. That's as well as that's the people be taken right. off of it. But, 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 but ideally, but. The, the board governs itself and, and chooses to operate within the framework of some rules of procedure, rights, rules of order, as well as whatever statutes and ordinances may apply to that particular board and such. But to the extent that, that they're self-governed, then we believe that, that's probably the most efficient functioning of the board. So the election board is self-governing. It's quasi-judicial. Right. So, yeah, I mean, all of us. And, uh, um, and all if there the is a complaint about something initially, most of the time starting with the appointing body, bringing it to the attention of the body that there is a problem is a good place to start. What does the body, what, what is the body willing to do to correct the problem? Well, Okay, well I know uh, when you bring up that we have vacancies and we, ha we are filling boards, I, I only uh, give what I know I have, t you know, dealt with people on and who, whom I think would be good in any capacity and I think he would be. I still recommend him for, for the election board. Madam Mayor, I move that we remove Mr. Kenneth McLaurin. Well, accept the resignation. Accept the resignation of Mr. Kenneth McLaurin from the Planning Commission, um, effective immediately. Second. All right, it's been moved and properly seconded. Are there any questions or comments? Are you prepared to vote? All right, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Cole? Yes. Councilman Evans? Yay. 
Councilwoman Price. Yes. Uh, Councilwoman Taylor. Yes. Mayor Pierce. Yes. So it has been moved and properly seconded. Have we? The <coughs> the motion uh, carried. Thank you. Madam and, Mayor. And I just want to say uh, I was led to to uh, to say that that the, to share the conversation we had because I have found Mr. McLaurin to be very uh, very fair-minded and that's what we need in a lot of situations we need fair-minded and we need somebody who's going to follow the law and which we you know all of our folks we want them to follow the law um, but um, Madam Mayor I, I move that we appoint um, Mr. Kenneth McLaurin to the election the municipal election commission second all right, it's been moved and probably seconded that we appoint Mr. McLaurin to the election commission. Are you prepared to vote? Uh, Madam, Madam Chair. Are, are there any questions? Is that fulfilled the unexpired term of the co opinion? Yeah. Co -opinion. Oh, you need to make that clear. You need to make Sorry, that. I will restate the motion. Madam Mayor, I move that we appoint Mr. Kenneth McLaurin to fulfill the unexpired term of Nicole Kenyon to the, on the Municipal Election Commission. Again, I second. All right, it's been moved and properly seconded that we appoint Mr. McLaurin to uh, the Election Commission to fulfill uh, that uh, term. Um, are you prepared to vote or are there any questions? Mayor Pro Tem Cole? Yes. Councilman Evans? Yay. Councilwoman Price? Yes. Councilwoman Taylor, yes. Mayor Pierce, yay. Uh, the motion carried. So Mr. Uh, McLaurin is officially now a member of the Election Commission. Madam Mayor, um, we also have the remaining term for Delaney Miller. And I would like to, I move that we appoint Patricia Bellamy as the um, replacement or to fulfill the unexpired term of Delaney Miller. Second. All right, you've heard a motion and a second. Are there any questions or comments? Uh, yes, there is. Okay, uh, Councilman Evans. Councilman Jake Evans. Okay. We just went through a couple of elections and Patricia Bellamy was out in front with a lot of problems that she presented in this election and all what she's done to involve herself in the elections when she wasn't uh, on the election board she was just sitting in as somebody's poll watcher with the problem she's caused in this town with this election that is the last thing I would ever vote to do, to put Patricia Bellamy on the election commission. And see, here we go. We just put this man on the election commission because of his standards and how honorable he is. And we're going to put Patricia Bellamy beside him. That's probably what he's talking about right there. But go ahead. That's all I have to say. Well, respectfully, Mr. Uh, Councilman Evans, your opinion of Ms. Bellamy is inconsistent with the opinion of the South Carolina Supreme Court not just on this pre this the 2009 election well you don't have to respond to what i'm saying i just gave you my opinion if you you i'm sure your opinion is she's a great person but i just gave you my opinion so just leave my opinion alone um, i will go ahead and say respectfully miss uh, mayor pierce you had an opportunity to say what you wanted to say regarding the qualities and character of mr mclaurin and I want to do, I'm going to do the same thing. We all in town here know her. You say what you want to say about it. You can be as rude and obnoxious as you choose to be, but I'm going to proceed. Now, Ms. Bellamy, the South Carolina Supreme Court, holds her in a different esteem. It's not every day that the South Carolina Supreme Court grants anybody a Mikas Curie status. It is not uh, every day that you have a citizen, as in the 2007 election, Ms. Kenyon and Mrs. Um, Bellamy, as two citizens, when no one else 
knew when the, when the Horry County Circuit Court failed to enforce the Supreme Court's order, which is their job. You count the part where Mr. Uh, Evans was talking or just when I was talking? No, no, oh. he's supposed to keep it on everybody. Okay. okay. So, no, we're in town, but um, we're not bound by it, but if you, if you choose to, I'm all right with that. But Ms. Bellamy, we have first few minutes and then in terms of, minutes on of quality and character, I would say to Mr. McLaurin, <laughs> rather than take the opinion of other people, you're sitting there with people smirking who have jail sentences themselves, or who've been indicted themselves. Ms. Mrs. Bellamy wrote a very clear statement about her own life to the South Carolina Supreme Court before they chose her for amicus curiae status. She knows election law very well to be a person who is not an attorney. And she works very hard on behalf of this community and a lot of things have been perpetrated on her as a resident of the Housing Authority and for the positions that she's taken. While they are busy saying to you what she is not, she's also a mother. She has a son who's on full scholarship to Purdue studying nanotechnology. This is for a woman from a housing authority who will admit herself, I came from some, th I have committed some crimes in the past, like many of you. I've seen your names also in quite a few documents and saw where the arrest took place. So let us not stand here and assert that Ms. Bellamy does not have the ability, the knowledge, and has not been respected by one of the most honorable institutions of this state. So let us proceed, and I still hold forth that Ms. Bellamy, I move that Ms. Bellamy be appointed to the Municipal Election Co Commission to fulfill the term, the remaining term of Ms. Delaney Miller. And Mayor Pierce, if, I might, if I might add, on top of that, she stood face to face to known residents of this town. She's been living here a long time, and so have a lot of people. She stood face to face with somebody, several people, who it is no doubt in her mind that they live here and challenged their vote on residents. And that's who we put on the election commission. And the same thing with Ms. Delaney Miller. That happened on She had a lot to say. That's why she served one time and didn't come back. But we, we're afraid to say why she didn't come back. But we all know why she didn't come back. Because she felt that things weren't being done right. So that's the same thing he's talking about. You put somebody beside him on a commission that we know aren't right. Mr. As far as challenging Mr. Evans, um, uh, there was challenges on both sides. And yeah, and the that. challenges on my side, they all got counted. Everybody who my people challenged, the votes got counted. Everybody who Patricia challenged, they got thrown out. So we know how it works, don't we? I'm talking about in elections before. Councilman Evans, you say we know why Ms. Miller um, let's, resigned. Let's back and forth. But on the other hand, I'll say that we don't. We never held as a body an inquisition or hearing of any kind to give us that answer. So if you want to base it on rumor and innuendo, it doesn't look good on your side. There's no room. There's no room, ain't no in your end. She said things weren't done right. I'm telling you what she told me. Things weren't done right. That's why she didn't come back. Point of order, the both of you. Let's put it to a vote. Motion's already been second. All right. Let's let's go ahead and carry the vote. She won't do nothing. No way. You go ahead and put it on there. All right. The vote at this time. Mayor Pro Tem Cole. Yes. But Councilwoman. Councilman uh, Evans. Nay. Councilwoman Price. Yes. Councilwoman uh, Taylor. Nay. Okay. Blanche, is she still an employee for the town hall as well? She's still a paid employee for the town? No. She's not? No. Because uh, we're going we're gonna to need to go ahead and, and uh, get all the, all the boards filled. And e anybody has a right to resign if they see anything not going right. Um, they should be governed by the law. And, and if they're not going according to the law, if they're qualified, we need to go ahead and put them in there and at least give them a chance to function because we, we ha have limited number of people in the town. Okay, uh, yay. So you can complete that. A motion carried. So the election commission. I thought she was on the Housing Authority Board too. She ain't on the Housing Authority Board? No. No. With um, Charlotte Hudson, Patricia Bellamy, and Mr. Kenneth McMartin. 